Good morning and uh, happy Saturday, everyone. It is, what is it, January something, 2024, and uh, I am 32 years old. I've been away from the uh, from posting for a few weeks, just uh, enjoying the uh, holidays slash New Year. <sighs> the way it started off was not well. It was actually pretty cre- pretty good. Like it was, it was a pretty great New Year. In terms of you know just kind of feeling feeling acceptance and you know, the excitement of having friends and having a good time, um, you know I felt and I still feel you know this uh, this is going to be a very different year, you know thanks thanks to the certain habits and and changes I've made in my life over the last um, several months. But yeah, I think 2024 is going to be a big year for for me in terms of just writing and uh, figuring out my 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 publishing business in that sense. I'm looking forward to uh, you know. Getting new glasses, I think uh, I'm gonna go go to the store today and uh, and pick out new glasses so I can finally see like a normal human being because that'll be that'll be fun that'll be nice to get back to that. Um, yeah. Apart from that, I guess I <laughs> still a little bit stressed over uh, financial troubles, money issues. But at the same time, I'm kind of excited because, um, you know, when I when I get over this hump, you know, like, and hopefully I, I can get over it, you know, very soon in the next couple of months. You know, things are going to be you know looking pretty good, looking pretty up for me. I, I heard of a, a a class that I was interested in taking that I might, you know, be able to get. Um, What's that word I'm looking for? A, sp- a scholarship for, or you know, at least to get some kind of uh, financial assistance with. But uh, you know, it's at George Brown. It's a screenwriting course. Uh, look at that crap. Yeah. So. When I finish my novel, I'm going to look into maybe doing some more education. <laughs> Get myself more involved with the writing world. Because that's all I really think, um, that's really that's really all I think will drive me forward this year. I don't think I'm going to attempt to get some kind of side job or, 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 or to create my, my, my writing as a side hustle, I think I'm going to make it just main hustle. Come, let, let, let come one may so far. So good. Um, I'm still, I'm still working on the opening chapters of the book and I'm hoping to, to really get into it by the end of this month. I really hope that I'm going to be done act one of the book, which is basically like the first four chapters or so. And, uh, all that setup and just kind of establishment of the character and world will be done. And, um, yeah. 2024, you know, a lot of people are concerned about changes in the world and I try to keep up with these sorts of things, but mainly my concern has just been with my book and my writing most of the time I'm hanging out with people, I'm just, you know, thinking about ah, when is when am I going to get back to my, my place? When am I going to get back to my writing? But the funny thing is when I get back there, my, uh, 
my stamina my stamina tends to take a dive sometimes you know like, like yesterday I found that it was pretty much impossible to get comfortable and even now my my hip and my back is still bothering me I've been trying to take a take more pictures with this phone some of them turned out pretty nice and uh, I don't know maybe I'll, I'll put one up as the thumbnail or something or on Instagram today as well oh look another train's coming I think uh, yeah I think I gotta I think I gotta start saying saying um a lot less on these videos it's kind of embarrassing actually but why why not you know why not get used to it this way you know maybe I don't even like making YouTube videos maybe I don't want to make YouTube videos that people fucking watch you know maybe I just want to record videos and 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 just have them here so that I can watch them later and think about what I was you know where I was at at that point in my life because it's kind of annoying to to write in my journal all the time and um I haven't written a journal post actually or written a journal entry I should say since the since the 31st so I guess I I should try to gather my thoughts for 2024 or like the first couple of weeks of 2024 on paper as well. But yeah, mainly I'm just kind of, uh, you know, I was disappointed in a, like by my, like disappointed in my own, in my own self when I, with my own behavior, I should say earlier this month, just, uh, I thought that maybe I could take a chance with romance, but I don't know. I don't know if it's if, if it's me that's maybe I'm too angry, maybe I'm just still too triggered by my by past events, but you know, as soon as things were looking good with this one girl. I found myself like just pushing her away, literally throwing her away, throwing her out of my house, telling her I don't want to see her again. And I kind of regretted it the next day because I didn't really think, you know, like, why was I so impulsive? Why was I so angry? But at the same time, she did bring it out in me. She, I mean, she fucking hit me in the face and, um, I don't know, it was just, I just felt tested all the time with this woman, and maybe, uh, maybe that's me, maybe that's me failing the test, but I mean, like, yeah, like, she wants to, like, like, it's one thing for me to feel like I don't have money to, to take a girl out on dates and shit, but if, 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 if I'm just wishing I had money so that I could get a girl drunk so that she could feel good because she doesn't feel good unless she's fucking drinking them like that's stupid you know maybe I'm too old for that and maybe that was what was going on here this girl is much, is much younger than I am and I say much younger but 10 years 10 years might not seem like a lot for, for me at this age but it is it's been it's been a long time since I've been with anyone as well so maybe I'm just not used to this maybe I'm not used to to being with someone and, and trying to work with them and whatnot. In the end, I think uh, I'm probably better off focusing on myself, just being alone. I know for a fact that I'm going to attract more women in my life. I might even attract back that same woman, but 
I'm not ready, I think, to to start a relationship and do that sort of thing. Especially not with the way, like, people are these days jumping into sexual, like, contact, like, basically right away. I told myself I wouldn't be doing that, but then I still ended up, you know, getting intimate with someone after a day or so of knowing her. And I was thinking to myself, like, that's always just, like, a nail in the fucking coffin. You know, it, I'm not I'm not talking about abstinence for abstinence sake but I don't think that you need to be sexual I don't think you need to be sexual with someone All right, let's, let, let, let's do that one again I don't think you need to be sexual with someone just to you know just to establish that you're attracted to them right away you know so Yeah, started off the year getting laid and also, you know, kind of getting my my head whipped around. You know, that's how it is. That's, I think that's what women do because they, uh, that's how they are. You know, like their head's constantly being whipped around. So I was in that energy for a couple of weeks. It threw me off with the writing, but it also kind of threw me threw me back in it, it 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 showed me exactly what some some inspiration like you know exactly what i needed to, to have for my writing at the time the chapter i was actually you know trying to that i'm finishing off involves a uh, budding romance scene and uh my life experience basically matched up directly with what i was writing which i think is slightly scary but also very amusing so yeah um also kind of thinking like do i want to talk about my personal life right now you know so i figured you know take a break from the video for for a sec from posting videos for a couple of weeks and um gather my thoughts see how things are <laughs> Yeah, it finally snowed. It's actually winter time now. It's pretty cold out. Um, I'm gonna have to start doing these videos inside eventually. <laughs> but yeah. for now, you know, enjoying the day, enjoying the morning walks. Um, I saw a park bench that I never really sat on, that I never even noticed existed up until today. So why not? Why not sit down for a minute and, and film a little vlog update? Um, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. But, like, also, like, dislike or, or you know, like, just, like, whatever. Do whatever you want. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why anyone would watch these. Um, yeah. But, I mean, if you are watching them... You are watching them. Leave me a comment because I'm kind of assuming that nobody's watching them. I'm assuming that this this is mainly just for me to, to you know to, to, to look at look at later and just see like you know oh what was going on in my life back then, which probably means I should get more personal and like leave more details. But I mean. When you when you when you record yourself, you start speaking differently. You start realizing, wow, you, I say these things a lot, you know, and um, get really self conscious, and I and I hate that feeling. So I'm kind of hoping that I can get past that feeling, just start feeling less stupid. Um, uh, fucking. Uh, Yeah, I don't know how people like making videos. Okay, well, I'll see you guys later. Bye.